I've turned the unit around so you can see what the next step is here. We've got our hose outlet on the back of the dehumidifier, and we've got our three gallon water jug that we're going to drain the water into. Okay, so let's set that up. First thing I'm going to do is thread the hose onto the back of the unit. Okay, pretty simple. Next one, I'm just going to approximate how much hose I need. I want enough so that I can run it just about anywhere I want to, but not too much that I have so much excess hose. But we'll just be giving ourselves a little bit extra here and cut it more later if we need to. Best to cut it kind of long for now. And we can still run it just about anywhere on our setup here, whether, again, whether this is a bookshelf or a you know, a table or a kitchen countertop or whatever. You know, run this down through the shelf and into your water jug and make water. So let's figure out where we're going to put this hose at next. So I want to make this a pretty clean install. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole just the size of this hose right down through the floor of this. Again, whether it's a bookshelf or whatever. That way, my hose can go down and still be reinforced with a table, and it's not flopping all over the place back here. You know, if I want to set this up against a wall, that'll save me some room, too, if I can do that. So, let's drill a hole. All right, so I found a perfect size hole saw bit that'll just do the trick to get that hose down through the top shelf. Let's drill a hole. All right, that should do just fine. Hey, now while we're at it, let's put a same hole through the top of this jug so we can just run the hose right through there. Just like that. I'm gonna grab a little vacuum, keep the work environment cleaned up, keep everything clean and tidy. Now we can take our hose and just run it back down through the hole that we've made here. Make it a really nice clean install. Retighten the hose here. Got it running down there. So now we've got a water jug hole in the top, just right for the size of the hose that we're going to run into it. I can see that I've got way too much hose. I only need about that much. So I'm going to cut that right about there. That is just about right. Works good. All right, so now that we've got our dehumidifier, hose, and our water catch basin down here, Next thing we're going to do is put the purifier up here. I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, the uh, water purifier that I have is a Berkey light, and I ordered it with the black Berkey purification elements. But before we can stick these in the unit and, you know, assemble our water purification plant, is we have to prime the filters. And you're going to have to do this with any system that you get. Um, these black Berkey filters are renowned to be the best filters in the world. Uh, but yeah, to prime it, it's really simple. There's just this rubber plug with a hole in it. Goes in the top of the filter. Goes in the top just like that. Now we're going to press the faucet up against here and just let cold water slowly run in. First, I'm going to push that there. Might get some runoff. So I can hear it right now filling up the element. And we're supposed to do this until it starts sweating on the outside, and then it's clean. So I'm going to hold the bottom. See, I've got the water on. We don't have a whole lot leaking out, but we're doing pretty good. 
but I'm going to watch the side of the filter for little sweat bubbles. I'm pushing pretty good against the faucet. Oh, you see how that filter's starting to sweat? Look at that. Works really good. And it takes so long to prime because the components inside the filter are so tiny. They're going to filter out everything. And all we're going to be left with pretty much is distilled water. But it's going to be cleaner than distilled water. And I've got two test kits that we're going to run a little bit later, show you just how clean the water is that we're getting. There's going to be no heavy minerals, no pesticides, no plant chemicals, no medications, no fluoride, no chlorine, nothing. But we're going to add something in the end to make it the best tasting water you've ever had. It's crazy. So you see how the bottom there is sweating pretty good now? I'd say that one's pretty much done. All right. Be sure and wash your hands really good before you do this. I'm just going to set that on a paper towel now. Shut the water off. Grab the other filter. And I thoroughly washed my hands before we did this. So this is how they come. Because this is the nut and washer we're going to use to assemble the purifier. All right, so same thing. Got this little tan cap, put it right on the top, and it doesn't want to go down over the thread, so that's a good thing. Gonna put it up over the faucet. Turn it on just so slightly, and watch it start to sweat around here. I'm being careful to hold it flush against that top mount. See that starting to come out right there? Little beads just start sweating. I want to run it for a little bit longer just to be safe. Yeah, when the purification process is done, we're going to put this water in one gallon jugs and add a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. The Himalayan salt has 84 minerals that your body needs every day. That's why they say if you just drink distilled water, it's okay, but not for long term because it's going to start dragging those minerals out of your body. But if we add a half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt to every gallon of water that we produce, it's going to be the smoothest, healthiest water you can drink. All right, so this one's done. Let me shut the faucet off. Set it right there for a bit. Okay, our filters are primed. So let's go ahead and assemble our uh, purifier. 